This is a response to uh, Snowy and Leon's recent video message that they put out against myself and against Nick. Firstly, I do remember Nick saying, every time you come out, you give it more information to hang yourselves. And again, that's exactly what you've done now. And every action, there is a reaction. This video is a reaction because you put out a statement about us, um, so it's our right to justifiably refute the things that you've spoken. Firstly, Leon Snowy, when you went, Leon <coughs> had come out against me in support of Chris Renton's actions. Do your research to what Chris Renton done and look at the man that Leon supported at that time and we had our dispute. When Leon and Snowy went up on that roof, who was one of the first people to come out in support of them, to put aside their differences and to unite for the cause? It was myself. Snowy, a little later on in his video message, says that it's when things happen, that's what when loyalties show and people come out, which is exactly what I did. So my actions actually prove the words that you've, yeah. that you've spoken. Leon, come out, in defence of Chris Renton, um, spreading lies about me and, you know, and other things, which was, he was the person why we removed the uh, St George Division from any more active participation because their lies spread on their Facebook wall amongst their 18,000 members were just too much to, to, to bear anymore. So we removed because of the type of people involved within leadership of the English Defence League. He called me a heroin dealer and anyone that knows me, um, not these English Defence League members that hear all these lies, anyone that actually knows me knows that I've never sold heroin in my life. There's a newspaper article out there where I've actually said this. The police know me. I've worked in schools doing drug education. So that is a blatant lie, calling me a heroin dealer, saying I've sold heroin. Plus also he said, I have no credibility whatsoever within the anti-jihad movement. The thing is, I've got people all over the world that actually know me personally that would refute that. So for you to say that is just rubbish. So Leon is a known liar who spreads lies and smears and slander across, the fa across their platform of 18,000 members on Facebook to discredit and destroy someone's reputation who disagrees with him and other people within the leadership. And you have to look at the person he was actually defending, the things that he was saying about me as well, to actually see the truth. See, the thing is, you think that you only have your members looking and listening and watching what's going on. You forget that now, all this information now, it's in the big wide world. There's actual people now, I should think, analysing this information to see wh what is fact and what is fiction. Only the facts will stand up. You turn lies into truths and truths into lies. That's what you do. That's what everyone needs to know about that core leadership. That's what the issue here has been about. It's about the, the abuse of power of the core leadership of the English Defence League. And this is just a continuation of that because you decided to come out and involve yourself in an argument that had nothing to do with you in the first place. And now we'll continue to expose you all until everyone knows the truth. You can carry on spreading your lies, spreading your smears, spreading your ridicule, but at the end of the day, what will stand up is the truth. You sit there with all these emblems around you, you sit there with the cross, you sit there with the red hand flag of Ulster, you sit there with the Star of David in the middle, and then you sit there with masks on your faces, spreading lies and smears continuing against people. When are you going to be big enough and man enough to come out and show your faces and speak to us properly without your lies, without your spears, hiding behind all of this regalia? that you think gives you some kind of cred credibility. 
Right, let's, let's now talk about Snowy. You know I know your dirty little secret. But I'm not as low as you, and I have more morals than others, where I will not bring women and children into an argument that we have. So that secret is safe with me, and it will not be spoken on camera, because that's your greatest fear. Because one thing you said in your statement is, what lies he'll come out with now, as kind of like defence, thinking that I would come out and speak what you don't want me to speak. Let other people make their own minds up now. Let's put into context that which you said about that person who you speak about. You didn't name her, and out of respect for her, I too won't name her, but everyone knows who we're talking about. That person got involved with the English Defence League because of me. Her skills, her talents and her resources were then latched upon by Tommy Robinson to take control of the eBay account and to control the eBay of uh, the English Defence League. She knows that there is no way I would have ever placed her in a position to start asking her for passwords of accounts or anything like that. I've got too much respect for her, I've got too much respect for her family, and I would not lower myself to do that and place a woman in that position. When this started, she was the person that we went to to offer Tommy Robinson that first olive branch because she was in contact with him and in contact with me. That olive branch was sent to Tommy Robinson. The information come back about me supposedly threatening his family, which is, which is what resulted in us phoning him. What happened the other night, she was in a meeting with the Luton division of EDL, where some disgusting things were said about me, which she told me, and she had to remove herself from the situation because of how bad what was said about me was. And she's not the only person that's told me because there were, there were others there. So she was there when that happened. That same night, Tommy Robinson went around my mother's home. 12 hours after that happened, I spoke to this person, the woman, on Skype. I knew she'd been with the Luton division, I knew she'd been with Tommy Robinson, and I knew she'd been with those around Tommy Robinson. I said to her, you knew what happened. She said she didn't. 12 hours after this happened, I hope you understand, I was a little bit stressed, I was a little bit angry about what had happened, and I called her a liar. Forgive me for calling her a liar. You're listening to this now, please forgive me that under the, the strain, under the stress of what had just gone on with my family, that I challenged you and called you a liar. Please accept my apology, I'm sorry. Threat, where was the threat? When I said, remember this, quite a natural response, remember this, because remember this, because of what's just happened, why can I not say remember this, that's not a threat. That's not anything, that's just saying remember this. Remember what's gone on, remember what these people have done. Remember what your friends have done within the English Defence League to my family. We now have information that they're actually trying to track down Charlotte. Charlotte is a supporter of ours, she's a part of our group. She is someone that actually spoke to my mother the night this happened. We now have information that people are trying to track her down and her family is home down. These people sitting behind aliases, sitting behind masks, threatening women, threatening children, and leading the English Defence League is disgusting. You all disgust me. You're a disgrace to the English cause. You sit there with these flags and you conduct yourself in such ways. You know your time's up, that's why. That's why you all come out in defence of each other now, because your time's up because of your actions.